we are going to continue working with our reading plan. Today is reading plan day. So I need you please, okay, we are going to check the forum and I need you to go to your accounts of my own. But let's check the forum. But do you think maybe we should wait till okay. the, uh, the Give me one second while I open it, I'm sorry. The, the, the reminder, do you remember your usernames, right? So, babies, as you can see today, we are going to reinforce our reading comprehension skills, yeah? yeah? So, what are we going to do? I am going to give you maybe one minute to access to my own platform and we are going to continue with our reading plan. The first thing that you have to check is that you have your uh, books assigned. So, you have to go to the part that says projects and to check if you have the books, okay? So, please everyone, uh, do you need like usernames or something or do you have it? I think that I need Okay, you have it. Tell me. Okay. So, babies, just in case that you need your username and password, this is going to be like the last time that I show it. That I show this to you. Let me look for it because I can see it now. Teacher, tell me. Yeah. yeah. If you are there, please check uh, the project. The part that says projects. Please, I have the two books. Okay, great. So, give me one second while I show this for those who are not inside the platform yet. So, babies, one minute to access, please. Teacher, can you send the link in the chat? Mm, yeah, sure. Teacher, tell me. Eh, ya entré, ¿y ahora qué tengo que hacer? You just have to check in the part that says projects uh, if you have the two books that we are reading. Okay. And just let me know I if you have it. it. Yeah, you have it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, is anybody missing? Well, you have to read with us here inside the class, but it's okay. Teacher, me. You just have to wait a little bit, baby. Maybe it's the connection. So, I guess that all of you are there. I hope so. And if you have liked the page... Okay. Can I close the usernames and the passwords? I need, please. So, go ahead, quickly. Okay, baby, please take notes because this is the last time that I am going to show it to you. Your username is natalia.parradat4. And your number is, like your password is 435254. Did you present the, le the Lexile test that we had in the school? No. So you have to do it, baby. Si no has tomado como ese examen de lexic de lexile, no, no te va a dejar pasar. So, do you have like many questions and reading comprehensions? Is that? Profe, ya lo hice. Okay. Yeah, the major part of the group did it. So, these are the two books that we are reading, right? This and this. Profe, espera que no vi la contraseña, me lo puedes dejar ver otra vez. Baby, please take notes. I have been like showing this a lot, a lot of time. Give me one second because it's sharing. Okay, go ahead, baby. Really fast. Mm. 
Do you have it, baby? It's too broken, guys. Okay, great. Is anybody missing? Okay. So, as usual, we are going to begin. No, teacher, wait. No, no yet. No, but you can work with me because that it is going to take you some time actually. So uh, I am going to keep showing my my screen. We are going to be reading together, and you are going to work with us while you do your Lexile test. Okay, baby, because it is going to take some time. Okay, guys. So we are going to begin as usual with the book, like the short book um, that we were reading. Okay, guys? You have to open, like, the book, the name of the book. So if you want, you can show me your screen, and I am going to explain for everyone with your account. Not not anymore. Please show me yours and I'll tell you how to access to the book. Oh, okay. <coughs> so, baby, you have to go to the part that says projects on top of the page. Um, don't they? Projects. Then you have to click there, and you have the two books. So we are reading right now The Most Haunted Places in the United States. That's, that's the book that we are going to begin with. So you just have to click on read, start the book. And if you remember, we were um, in page number seven. So just go to that page, page number seven. Gracias, profe. Okay, on the other book we are in page number seven too. So just open the two books in a, in different like tabs and go to page number seven. Got it? So yeah. we are going to keep working with our book. I am going to show you my screen again just in case. We are going to go with the most haunted places in the United States, okay? So the previous class, we had read the story of the Alamo. Do you remember what happened with the Alamo? Profe. Tell me. ¿De la página siete? Yep, page number seven. ¿Y por qué te apareció eso? Because this is the first book. I mean, this is the most haunted places. As you remember, we have this book and this book. The most haunted places and the ghost of Jay Stokely. In order to introduce every single class, we usually begin with the most haunted places. So open that one, maybe. Tell me, princess. Teacher, cuando termine de hacer el, te el texto, te puedo preguntar, bueno, lo que me están pidiendo, te puedo preguntar cómo entrar a lo que están ustedes? Of course, baby, yes. Just let me know. Okay, guys, are you there? Page number seven of the most haunted places? Great. So, guys, we are going to continue. The Alamo, who can tell me what happened there? What did you remember? What is the Alamo in San Antonio? Camilo, what do you remember of the Alamo? Okay, hey, the Alamo is a place in the United States. This is a battle. No, in this uh, place, have the battles in 1836. That's it. So it's a place that had that had like a really bloody battle, and for 13 days. Yeah, because they were fighting for freedom, the freedom yes. of Mexico. So. In that place, many, many people died. Nowadays, people said that, that they are able to see ghosts and spirits there. So we are going to continue with the next story. So the next one is Alcatraz Island. Okay? So, 
Um, Mariana, can you please help me reading? Okay. Alcatraz Island. A, fa a famous prison was built in on Alcatraz Island near San Francisco, California. Many prisoners that died at Alcatraz before the prison closed in 1963. Guards reporting mo money, a criminal cell, smells, cold sports, and the ghosts of the criminals. Guns Gangster Al Capone is the most famous ghost, say that haunt Alcatraz. Okay. Did, Continue. Did, did you know? Okay. Did you know Capone played the banjo in a prison band? Uh, some visitors claim to hear banjo music in the prison showroom. Could visitors be hearing? Ghost. Okay, babies. So this is the story of Alcatraz. Have you ever listened something about it, about that place? Yes. What have you listened? No. Tell me. Es que estaba intentando entrar y no me aparecía el piso, o sea, en el nombre del colegio. Try to change, baby. Try to change like the browser. And if you are definitely not able, it is sometimes it is because of the connection. So, in that case, you will try with your cell phone, okay? And let me know. So, Mariana, what have you listened of Alcatraz? I know that it was a prison, and uh, I already li I listened a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. My mom... My mom told me some stories, but I don't remember. Okay, is anybody else uh, with knowledge about Alcatraz? Do you know something else from Alcatraz? I also know that the prison was a uh, closet because have a lot of uh, what do you say? assassinatos, murders, yeah, and I think economic as well. Okay. Um, guys, something else about Alcatraz? Do you know something about it? Teacher, Tell this me. is the impression that uh, está como en medio de la nada. Yeah, it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, actually, this is an island, and in that I on that island they built a prison. So it was basically impossible to run away from the prison because it was in the middle of nowhere. I mean, they had sea all around them. They, they were surrounded by sea. So it was basically impossible to, to run away. And on that island, nowadays the island is uh, dehabitated, but in that time they had a prison. And the prison was like a really bad prison, you know? They were really mean with the people who, with the prisoners, with the one who, with the ones who were there. In this prison, they, uh, they had like a lot of murders. They had a lot of, um, I mean, they hurt a lot the people. The treat was like really bad because they treat them like if they weren't person, like if they weren't people. Sorry. So what happened? One day, uh, the prison had to close because of all of all of these stories, yeah. But uh, nowadays, people say, I mean, some people is able to go there and to visit because now it is more or less like a touristic place because it has this. What is this? Who can tell me? Check my screen. The one that I'm. Um, Faro. Okay, un faro. How did you say that in English? How did you say faro in English? Who knows? Like those? Like what, baby? Like those? I don't like know. those. Light? Lighthouse. So, lighthouse. 
Okay. Be careful with pronunciation. Lighthouse. That's Faru. So this lighthouse has also an important story because it's the oldest lighthouse uh, that is functioning nowadays. Yeah. So people try to uh, try to go there and to visit like the high uh, the lighthouse. They also want to know about the prison that is like this one, this huge building that is in the middle of the island. Is the prison all of these things? And if you can see in the image, they have like more or less like some tourists. So yeah, they are there. They are there sightseeing the place. Okay. So babies, what happened? These people that has been traveling there uh, say that they are able, able to hear uh, voices, that they can see uh, some ghosts, that they can have, like, I mean, they, they can perceive smells, uh, that they can feel like, for example, if someone uh, touched them, they feel like that hand in a really cold way. So they are telling all these stories and of course this is not, I mean, it's without habitants but as this is an important place in history uh, this place has some words so as you can read here the words are reporting moaning do you know what is the meaning of moaning? don't forget that you have a dictionary there you can just click there on the word and view in the dictionary so what is moaning? Check in your dictionaries and tell me. Who can tell me, babies, what is moan or moaning? Santiago, are you checking your dictionary? Like, uh. Okay, tell me. Like a loud, but very slowly and. Like a susurro, muy largo. Mm, no, to utter and a long, loud sound. In this case, it is. So, moan is gemido. Yeah, so moaning, gemidos. Teacher. Tell me. Es que no, es que. ¿Cuántas preguntas son? Es que ya llevo más de 10 y no se quita. Those are like more or less 25 questions. Yes, baby, otherwise you are not going to be able to use the platform. No, yet, baby, just check, check on my screen because it is uh, because of the internet connection. You are able to access the previous class, right? Teacher? Okay, so. We did it at the school before I leave. That week before I leave, we did it there. So, okay, uh, Nata, please check my, my screen and please work with me. And we can try later. It, it can be like the internet connection, okay, princess? Yes, teacher. Okay, so moaning is gemidos, okay, gemiendo. So, can you imagine being in a place, listening, I mean, working there, can you imagine those poor guards that work there, listening, like, noises, smelling things, feeling the call of the ghost, and all those things? Do you think that this is a real story, guys? I mean, can, you, can you imagine that? Okay, yeah. Nata says, says yes. What do you say about this one, Pablo? Real or not real? Uh, for me, it is real. Okay. What do you think, Santiago? Real or not? I think that it is real. Okay, Juan David, did you arrive, baby? Yes. Okay, what do you think of this story? Real or not? So, do you think that this place really has ghosts and everything? No. Not real? Okay. So, in my case, I believe that it can be real, you know? Because in a place where a lot of bad things happened, I mean, I, I don't know if, like, specifically ghosts are there, 
but I guess that's some kind of demons and really weird things are there. So, they are talking about this ga gangster. What is the meaning of gangster? What do you have there? Who can tell me? Who can help me reading? What is a gangster? A member of a criminal gang. Okay, what is gang? Like, like, a band. like a band, yes, like a group. Mm -hmm, that's it. So, uh, this, gang, this gangster, Al Capone, is really, really, really famous. Have you ever listened something about this boy, Al Capone? No. Never, never, never? <laughs> of Al Capone, the gangster, the gangster that, that they are talking about. Yes, yes. Have you ever listened something about him? Yes. What did you know about Al Capone? That he was um, a person of the mafia. Uh -huh. of Italy. Something else? Um, it is uh, like um, a leader. In yeah, he was a leader. Yeah. Of the, of the, of the mafia of Italy. Okay. So actually, yeah, he was really famous. He was uh, one of the leaders in this kind of, of business. So he was almost untouchable. Yeah. But one day, of course, they dropped him. He was like on top of the list of the most wanted, los más buscados del FBI. So they catch him and they uh, translated this guy to this prison. And of course he had a really bad life there. And then he died. So people say, people say that Al Capone is the most famous ghost and that, that he's even the leader in that place being dead. What do you think of that story? Do you think that is true or not? Like Al Capone leading all the ghosts. Real or not real? What do you think? Vale, Venegas, what do you think? Vale, Venegas. Okay, he's not here. What about you, Juliana? What can you tell me? Do you think that that part of the story is true? Uh, I know I don't know teacher. I think that yes. So is it possible to to have like one ghost leading all the ghosts, like even if he's dead? But so, uh, pues, I believe in the ghosts. I think that the ghosts live. <laughs> okay. In... So maybe. Yes. Okay. And let's talk about one last thing about this place. This place is really famous and it has even movies. And one of the movies is the one related to the escape that three prisoners did. It is like the, like the most famous escape of a prison. Have you ever listened something about that story? Where three guys like Fred Morris, John and Clarence escaped from this prison? Have you ever listened something about it? No. Never? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. No, teacher. Yo escuché de que alrededor había disque cocodrilos o algo así. Well, it was the sea. So maybe not cocodriles because they are from sweet water. But I guess that sharks and a lot of other dangerous animals could be there. Okay, so babies, actually uh, in this prison, three prisoners were able to escape and that escape was hilarious guys, it was like really great, I am going to send you the name of the movie if you want to watch it, or uh, you can read also how was the escape because they were, that escape was amazing, they did it like even with, a, with the spoons, so it was amazing. I, I recommend that for you, okay? So guys, that was the story of this place, Alcatraz Island.
Questions about this place? Something else that you want to say about it? Would you visit this place, Gabi? No, teacher. Oh, 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 yes, I don't know. Okay. Okay, it can be a bit scary. Yeah, it can but be actually. Teacher, I, was, I was read and says that there is six prisons. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Intentaron. Try. Try. Sorry, sorry. In, in 14 yeah, I mean, they were like like many attempts of escape, but uh, usually on those attempts, people die. So some some of some of those uh, prisoners that tried to do it were dead. Maybe just two, three did it. But the most famous escape was this one, the one that I'm telling you about. About So I am going to send you the name of the movie for you to, to watch it, okay? So guys, let's finish with this one for today. Let me just write a note in order to know... Oh no, okay, this is your book. So, let's go to the second book. This one, The Ghost of Jay Stogley. We are in page number seven. Please let me know as soon as you arrive there. Do you have it? Yes. Okay. So, my dears. What was happening in this book? Like the things that we have read, we are at Eagle Point and something is happening there. Who can tell me? Who can remember that? What can you tell me about it? What did you remember? Try to remember something. What was happening in this story? I remember that in the first part we read about like in the clothes the people cast like a hat. Mm hmm Yeah they, they uh, see like a like a shade. A shadow. Yes. Okay, what else do you remember? So Eagle Point, what is that? It's an island, it's a house, it's a city. What is that? What is Eagle Point? What do you remember? I think that is like a town. So uh, Eagle Point is a specific part of a beach, yeah? So in that part, people, I mean, it wasn't a good place, it was really far so it wasn't a good place to live but it was a good place to go on vacation or maybe if you wanted to be away from noise and crowds for a while so it was a good point so also you can go there to camp you can uh, fish you can do a lot of things there because it was like a touristic place or a holiday holidays place yeah but suddenly uh, some people were there we are going to keep reading and they saw something. What did they see? Who can remember that? What did they see? So, Nata, do you remember something of this? No, teacher. My God, you have to read with... All of you must read with a little bit more of attention. Camilo, what did you remember? What did they see? I remember of this in part of the lecture. Uh huh. Is I don't remember. No, so so. So so okay. Mm, it's a person who sent uh how do you say Camino? Like a way. Like a way. Uh, um. Yeah, it's my question. 
So, some people were there, like, Jeez. having fun. Tell me. Japan. Finish? Yes, Kevin. Okay, baby, can you please share with me your screen? Guys, let's stop. One second. Yeah. Okay, so please go to the part that says projects. Open that one. Yeah. Yes. And we are in the ghost of Jake Stogley. So click on read. Start the book. And please go to page number seven. This? That one, yeah. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Okay, baby. So, please stop sharing this screen, okay? So, guys, uh, they were like there, they were having fun, they were being happy, and they saw a figure on the beach, but the figure, like, it was like a boy, but he wasn't really interested in like fishing or camping or actually doing nothing. He was just like. Sí, tengo una cuestión. Tell me. Ah. Eh, pasa algo si rayo la hoja con las cosas que hay ahí. O no. Sea, es que estoy resaltando las palabras importantes. No, of course not. This is your book. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So there was a figure, and the figure was just there. Just like moving and that's it. So, uh, it was really weird. And they were saying that it was weird not only because the, the man was walking all around the place. I mean, he, he will never stop. But because, some, because of something else. What happened? He was walking, but what was happening with him? What happened? Uh, you don't... Uh Food, uh, leave footprints. So yes, this guy had no footprints. So as you know, if you walk in the sand, you are going to leave a mark. But this guy was without footprints. Okay? Uh, so that's like the point that we are right now. He made like a sound. And people was like, okay, okay we are seeing this man, but we are not sure if he is here or not, and they were wondering something about this guy. So we are going to continue, so everybody please go to page number 8. Okay, we are going to begin with chapter number 2. Ready, guys? So, Valio Rego, can you please help me reading this first page? Uh, chapter 2 End of the Road uh, Has he brought along the dusty forest road? Jared Horn uh, skinned and turned on his pickup when wind shied uh, we burned the dust from his father uh, his eye hat of mm -hmm. him was during the road Chico? Yes, please the rat twisted back um, for like a snake that could make in wind where was going. Finally, uh, his heart break legs, shiny red, and uh, Jared pulled it up next to deep. He walked down the side window. The rat stopped in the middle of the wall. Okay, so what is happening here? What did you understand? I want. Okay, tell me. I understand that uh, it, like in a uh, road, it's like, like uh, a man was like uh, in a car mm -hmm. or something like that and was like. Uh, um, like he was like something with sand or with 
como con polvo. Ok, de the dust. dust. With dust. With dust, and she, he washed that in the one So it was something like that. Let's imagine you have like a father with his son and they are on a road. And the way it has like a lot of dust and it has I mean it's really twisted. Like the the way is difficult. The road is really, really difficult. Because it has as you can see here like the the form or the shape of a snake. So it is like a bit uncomfortable. Yeah? Let's check vocabulary. What is the meaning of squinet? This one. Who can tell me? What is that? Please check on your dictionaries. Yes, as I mean, those who has glasses knows that. So for example, if you are going to see something that is really, really far, you just close your eyes, pretending that you can do it, you know? Okay, squint. Now, what is the meaning of wine chilled? Like parabrisas. Parabrisas, that's it. Any other question that you don't know? Like blurring, what is the meaning of blurring? What is that? What is blurring? Like... Como limpiar, limpiar como las gafas o la imagen para ver mejor. Uh, when something, so, 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 when something is blurring, yeah, it's when you, it's when you can see it in a good way, it's unclear. Okay? So if you say like, uh, was blurring the row, they are saying that the dust was making a re really hard uh, the option to see the row or where they, are, where they were going. Okay, let's continue, guys. So we have this guy with his son, and they are on a road, and suddenly they arrive to the middle of the woods. Let's go. Juliana, can you please continue? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. You be old, go to be kidding. Kidding? Kidding. Say you. Eating. The year this is it, he ate right? his other. Mr. Herm is my as, as he sleep out of the jeep. You be been. You've been. To what you've been? Mm -hmm. Water beef before he said. I seem a lot bigger, say you. That because you were a lot smaller. Said Mr. Holmes, you look around all he say where a he water with a tiny gas station with a single gas pump and a grocery store with a huge stuffers fish over the door. Only 50 feet away, a spark link through the trees like the surden and of a, a lake. Eagle Lake. Eagle Lake. Come on, guys. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Hunt say as three boys climb out of his jeep. Let's get, let's get the canoes down and get you on your way. Okay, stop there. So here, what is happening? Where they did arrive? I mean, where were they? With what place? What is the name of the place? Water what? Water bill. Water bill. Yes, they are in water bill. And water bill is really close to the main point of this story that is what? Eagle Lake. Okay? So, here they just arrived, Jared was like surprised because he remembered everything different, he thought that it was bigger, and he was like a, a little bit mad. So the father just picked up three boys and that's it. They climbed, they took some canoes, what is the meaning of canoes? 
this word? Canoas. Uh -huh. And they just start like a new route. Maria Jose, Princess, can you continue on page 11? Maho, are you there? Okay, so Juan Pablo, can you please help me with page 11? Okay, teacher. Tell me, go ahead. <clears throat> That's right, but guys, a Harris I guided up all the year. Um, Harris, younger brother, Caleb, Rolet, Keys, I, 13 boys. Be careful, be careful with the punctuation. Okay, okay. Is he going to bossy the world try? Ask it, please. The taller one of Caleb's friends. Probably. So, Caleb. But he does know a lot, lot about fishing. Um, Harris Khan and Caleb spend a lot, lot of time outdoors. Almost every weekend they went fishing, hunting, camping, or canoeing with her fire. This summer, Mr. Holmes had our project that will keep him him busy for the next few months. And so Harris does it. He will take his brother and his friends, be himself. Hard that decide on a spot that they hadn't visited since high since he had been been made in Red School Eagle Point. So thank you. So in this part we have a new character. Who is that one, Juan Pablo? The new character. The new character is um, Luis? Uh, not really. No. It begins with C. Who? Caleb. Caleb. And Caleb is the youngest brother, yeah? So Jared and Caleb are, are brothers and they know a lot about fishing and everything. So, who is Mr. Holmes? The father. The father. Teacher, I am confused. Tell me. That story is about the the shadow, or it's about a family who goes to that place. It's about a family who goes to that place. Ah, okay. So, this book begins telling you that there is a part or a point that that is a place that is called Eagle Point, that is in Waterville. Yeah, and in that part. There is the shadow of a boy, and that is really weird. And then they stop there, and they begin telling you the story of this family who is traveling there for something. Okay? So, Gabby. Mr. Holmes had a project. Where is the project taking place? Go to enjoy the summer. I mean, yeah, they are like traveling to enjoy something, but the father uh, had like a project, a project that we, mira, a project that would keep him busy for the next few months. So what is the project? Oh, I don't know, teacher. So the project is going to be at Eagle Point. Yeah, they are going to do something and they are going to do it there, in the place where the shadow is like living. Let's continue, okay? Gabby, can you please help me? Page 12. Yes, teacher. The only way to reach Eagle Point was by canoe. The old caretaker, Mr. Stubbley, lived in a large cabin set back from the water. Jade's favorite camping spot was on the Points Hill, just above the Plinley Beach. He had gold memories and fishing there. The lake was filled with northern peak and Josh. Huge. Huge wall A. Jerks couldn't wait to get there. Soon the canoes were unloaded. Mr. Holes leaned and had against the jeep. You should have great finish out by the point this time of year, he said. Then he glanced at his watch. 
time for me to head back home. Do you have every you need? Jerry, no. We'll go to the outfitters store for the loud few soaps, he said. I want to be on the water by now so we can reach Eagle Point by sundown. By sundown. So, Gabby, what is happening here? Um, they say that uh, he wants to return to Eagle Point. So, they are trying to go to Eagle Point. What? What are they going to do there? Because... Mm, because they... They couldn't wait more in the way village? Uh, not really. Actually, they are trying to arrive to uh, Eagle Point because they want to catch some fishes, and that is an excellent place to do it. They want to go fishing and to be there and to come and to, I mean, they want to travel there because they just want to have like a time with friends and to catch fishes. That's the main point. Gabby, something really important happened here. You have one new character, one new name. What is the name? Mr. Stokely. Mr. Stokely. What is the name of the book? Como si me perdí. What is the name of the book that we are reading? The Ghost of J. Stokely. Of J. Stokely. So now you have this guy, Mr. Stokely. So maybe he is related to the main character of this book. So she yeah. Is the father of the ghost. No? We just have to wait and see. Okay? So we have these three, uh, these guys who are traveling there, they are buying some supplies and then they are just going to take their canoe because they can just walk there and they are going to go to, to Eagle Point. Isa, can you please continue on page 13? Yes. Good plan, said his father, said his father. How do you say that name, teacher? Jared. Jared had spent weeks preparing uh, for the trip. He had it all planned, planned out. We'll take care of your little brother, Mr. Holmes said. I'll see you in a week. As his father drove away, Jared turned to the younger guys. L let's head to the store and get out. Get out last supplies. Supplies. Said, supplies. I think we still need a couple of things for first aid kit too. Uh, the four boys walked uh, into the outfitter's store. It was a small wood building with only two rooms, the store area are, and a small office. The store was la lined, lined with, lined with sh shelves. Uh -huh. fe filled, filled, no sé. filled. Uh, with everything a copper or fisherman might need. Jared quickly found a can open opener, a box of bandage, and some soap. Uh, then he bought the items to the counter. So, Isa, what happened here? Que fueron a una tienda de ropa? Uh huh, because, I mean, not only clothes, but a lot of things. Uh huh. And what happened? And. and Luego creo que los de la banda llegaron allí. No. No, no sé. Yes, of course you know. So, this question, but let's go uh, in English, please. How many time are they going to be there? How many time are they are they planning to be there? One week. One week. And they needed they needed some supplies for the first aid kit. What is a first aid kit? I don't know. The first aid kit is like the... What, baby? Para acampar. Es el botiquín. Los primeros auxilios. 
Uh-huh. First aid, primeros auxilios, ¿ok? So, they were buying some things like some soup, some uh, bandage, like curitas, and a lot of things. So, the, he just went there and they bought it and now they are ready to continue with their trip. So, let's read the last page of this chapter and let's finish uh, in that way for today. So this last page, Camilo, can you please help me reading page number 15? Number 15, one moment, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do we need soap for? Asked Carlos Frank Harry. I thought it was a vacation. Color for all his eyes where you boys keep the store to ask it ask smiling smiling your blood smiling your pocket his soft on top uh-huh on top. we are going to up to the point yeah We will be up there for a week. Caleb. 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 Mm. The clerk suddenly turned pale. His smile disappeared. He looked at Jerry and frowned. I don't think that's a good idea. The clerk said, Unless you plan to finish for most. So what happened here, Camilo? What can you tell me? Okay. Mm. This is como the checkpoint, yes? Uh, sure. No. This is the store. So they are buying some stuffs, and the tender, the clerk, the owner of the store asks, uh, what are they going to do? What were they do going to do? So they just say that we are going to uh, Eagle Point and what happened? What happened with the boy? With the clerk? Was he happy to listen mm -hmm. that, Camilo? What did you? I don't remember. Was the, was the clerk happy to listen that the, that the boys were going to Eagle Point? Uh, yes. Uh, no, guys, you have to read paying attention, please. He literally said, the clerk suddenly turned pale, se puso pálido, and he said that he believed that it's a really bad idea because that place has a lot of ghosts. Okay? So, my dears, okay. let's finish for today. And we are going to continue tomorrow with another class. So questions, babies? Something? No? So, yes, tell me. How can... Es que no, la verdad no sé bien cómo es que tenemos que hacer la tarea de la plataforma y qué plataforma es. Es la plataforma de RLP. Okay. Solo tienes que ingresar. Eso te va a decir que tienes tarea y le vas dando clic a los ejercicios y eso te los abre. Y simplemente los haces... ¿Cómo es que se llama? RLP, RLP. RLP. ¿Tienes ya? todo el password y todo? Sí, solo haces los ejercicios, le das ahí submit y ahí queda todo en plataforma. This Friday. No, amor, porque todo queda en plataforma. No tienen que enviar screenshots, eh, nada. Solo todo queda en plataforma. Okay. Solo es hacerlo. Ok, babies. So, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Esos ejercicios son los del vocabulario que veo. Yes, ya, yeah, vocabulary. Ya te llegó el reporte, ¿ok? I haven't checked yet. I'll do it this Friday, ¿ok? So, bye bye, guys, go.